Hey guys, welcome to a new episode. This is Gardening Friends and I'm your host Scott. Today I'd like to talk about your potting mix, your manure, and your peat moss. So let's get started with that, shall we? Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium or potash. And that's what the NPK stands for. What is potting mix? Well, it's a dirt that contains a little bit of manure, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Basically it just has a little bit of everything. You do want to add some other stuff to it like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium or potash. You need supplements in there. Basically folks, that's what it looks like. All it is is dirt enriched with all kinds of stuff. Usually I will put my potting mix two to one to the rest of the other ingredients. So let's take a look at the other stuff. Manure is one of the key ingredients in your garden because it does have a high concentration of phosphorus and potassium. In my case chicken manure, because I really like chicken manure, for the reasons that it has the highest in, in nitrogen and the phosphorus can vary from 0.5 to 0.8 percent or more. And as far as potassium, it can go from 0.5 to 1.5 percent. They're all up there. And as far as micronutrients, uh, chicken manure has a whole lot. Calcium, magnesium, iron, sulfur, and zinc. And the list goes on. And that's what your dirt needs, all those little goodies. Um, also, chicken manure will be a little bit higher in pH since it's so concentrated. Uh, the pH levels are usually between 6.7 to 8. But basically, it's not a big problem in a garden. It might cause you a, a problem in certain strawberries or blueberries, anything acidic. But uh, most of the time it won't. Anyways, that's why I use chicken manure. Let's go to the third and last final piece of the puzzle here. Okay, in this last one here, everybody knows about the big peat moss word. Peat moss is a great thing for your dirt because it aerates your dirt. It's very fluffy, so it, your, your dirt becomes looser. Therefore, it will retain moisture or water, and it will actually retain all its, the nutrients a whole lot longer than if you didn't have any. That way your dirt doesn't come so hard that your plant, you know, the roots can't actually push through the bottom. But with peat moss it makes it light and fluffy so the roots are all happy. Now by combining the three of them you get a really healthy and happy growing medium and that's what you want. If you have those three in your dirt you're A-OK. -okay. okay let me explain what the uh, NPK stands for. In other words, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, or potash. The nitrogen is really what you need for the foliage and all the green stuff. The phosphorus is really, really good for the roots and the flowers. And the potassium, or potash, that is also very important because that's what promotes the overall health of your plant. So there you have it folks, the three magical letters. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Well, there you go guys. I try to explain it in the layman's terms as best as I could. It's not rocket science. One thing I, w I would like to add to all of this is, okay, basically two gallons of potting mix, one gallon manure, and one gallon peat moss. So that's your, the ratio you want to use. Guaranteed, if you use those three things in your pot, you basically can grow anything, hard or easy. Here I have a big old bag of chicken manure. Okay, you remember we talked about those three magic letters? Here they are on the manure bag. Look at that. So that's what you have in the manure bag by itself. And this big old bag of manure at Home Depot only cost me about $2.50. Sorry about that, the bag is upside down. <laughs> but this that's a really, really big bag. It's like 62 liter bag. And that's like 6 or $7. And as far as potting soil, just go to Home Depot and just buy the cheapest bag. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. That was my explanation on dirt mixture, and it's not very complicated. 
On that note, guys, uh, it was a great pleasure talking to you again, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. And don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.